Samuel Langley, a university professor and the secretary of the Smithsonian Institute, decided to make a flying machine. Langley spent some $70,000 on his aerodrome thanks to the US War Department. Langley had the government support, massive media exposure and the smartest of the brains working for him. On October 7, 1903, his 54 feet long flying machine was launched from a catapult on the Potomac River and it crashed right away into the river. His second attempt on the 8th December met with a similar fortune. Exactly nine days later, in a quaint little town of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, two bicycle salesmen named Orville and Wilbur managed to fly a trim little biplane on their own using the profits from their cycle store. The amount they spent was only $1,000. The first prototype flew for 852 feet and the second one with a few modifications flew more than 40 miles. We know Orville and Wilbur better as the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers were not even engineers, they were not even graduates. How is it possible that two men who were non-STEM educated and they could upset the mighty Professor Langley? Well, there can be a various approaches to look at this problem and in none of them should this being a fluke be entertained. The difference is about going all in. The motivation to excel cannot be teleological. That is, it should not be associated as much with the consequences that it will bring with itself. The Wright brothers' pursuit was filled with curiosity, more than a desire to be celebrated and being famous. Companies like Apple were not built with the motivation of making the world's most profitable tech company. Neither was Amazon conceived to make Jeff Bezos the richest man. These and hundreds of other successful companies are born with a very strong purpose which is independent of the rewards it will bring. The sense of purpose was much stronger in the Wright brothers and this is infectious. Great leaders can naturally rub this on to the other team members. Let's try and understand this with an example. Let's say that you're a brilliant scientist and you're working for one of the largest science and tech corporation, but you do not feel connected with the purpose. You do not feel connected to your boss and he's not able to inspire you. Then you would nothing. You would be nothing but a nine to five employee doing just the bare minimum to steer away from being fired. Whereas a not so bright team member may end up making immensely valuable contribution if he feels connected with the purpose of the organization. The difference between these two examples is not of a few hours of the day. It's the approach and the sense of ownership. Here is wishing that all of you find your purpose and are able to work for it so that you cherish the journey more than the destination. Passion can and in most cases it will trump talent. See you another Monday.